Hi, I'm Sam from Needcraft and today I'm going to show you how to make one of these fantastic table lamps from one of our great creative craft kits. So first of all, I'm just going to take you through what you get as part of your kit in the box. Uh, firstly, we have our rings. Now these are 15 centimetre in diameter and you have two uh, rings. One is your utility ring, which your light fitting will fit into. This has a larger circle on the outer, the metal circle, which is a European fitting. And then we have an adapter here in the centre and that creates our UK fitting. On the legs here, you'll notice these don't have any um, stoppers on, so you can just simply slide those on. They come as part of the kit as well, and that just protects any surfaces that you might be standing your light on. So they slide on really nice and easily like that. So that's your base. The other ring you'll get is a plain ring, and this will sit at the top of your shade. Also as part of the kit, you get your lampshade making PVC. Now this is adhesive, self-adhesive, so you can see there's a paper backing on there. It's already cut to size for you, which makes this really, really easy to make up. So it's a great little kit, um, even if you haven't got any previous kind of crafting experience. Also as part of the panel, there's a very cleverly cut kiss cut here. So there's a cut in the PVC. And later on, we're going to fold that back and peel away the excess PVC to create a fabric margin. Just on the PVC itself, it's a really high quality product. It's fire resistant. It's been tested at the Lighting Association Labs. Um, and it also is anti-static and anti-yellowing. So it's going to last a really long time. And this is the kind of product that you'd also see in retail lampshades on the high street. Just other things inside the kit, you'll get some high-tack double-sided tape. So this tape is really flexible and it's also transparent and you'll understand why when we come to that stage in the demo. You'll also get a rolled edge tool. So this tool has got a serrated edge along the top and it's got two smooth edges along the side and comes to a point. And we're going to use this in the final stages of the demonstration to tuck all the fabric edges underneath, under our rings, to give us a really, really professional finish. You also get step-by-step -step instructions. These are photographed instructions that take you through every single stage of making up your table lamp. And they've also got lots of hints and tips in there as well. So these are fantastic to make either for home, so they fit really nicely onto a windowsill, they'd be lovely on a side table or just even in the corner of a room to brighten it up. Um, lovely in things like porches, um, any areas that are a little bit dark and dingy, you can brighten up with your own style. So you can make them in your own choice of fabric, um, you could embroider onto the fabric in advance, you could put trims on, there's loads of creative ideas that you could do with this product. Um, they're also fantastic for making for other people as well, so make a really, really lovely gift. Very nice if they're personalised too or brilliant if you're thinking of starting up your own business. Um, they're nice, unique, they're something that you don't really see around in the shops, um, so a, a great make. I'm just going to talk a little bit as well about fabrics. So fabrics for this kind of product, you'd, you really need to be using a woven fabric, so either a cotton or a linen or a polyester, all of those will work really well. Um, but you just need to make sure that the fabric doesn't have any stretch in it because that will make it very tricky and also you won't get as, as good a result. So on to making up your table lamp. So first of all, you're going to need a clean, flat surface. And the tools that you're going to need to make that up are nothing more than you would normally have at home. So a good pair of fabric scissors. I just used a second pair of scissors for my tape. Um, you can use a craft knife instead of scissors if you want to, but do make sure that you've got something on your table to protect it before you start. Other things that you can use that are really handy um, is a seam roller. And the seam roller just helps us push the seam together. You can do it with your hands, but this is also a really useful tool. So just to make up our table lamp, first of all, you need to make sure that your fabric 
And this is a beautiful peacock design fabric, is face down on the table. And then you need to put your PVC panel on top, also face down, so that the paper backing is touching the back of your fabric. Now, this particular fabric does have a direction on it. So as you can see here, that the feathers are facing upwards. So we need to make sure that when we position our PVC, that our kiss cuts are gonna be running along the top and the bottom of the shade. So you need to make sure that that's positioned correctly and not the wrong way round. So if your fabric is something like a geometric fabric or it has something that's very clearly lined up. You just need to make sure that you position your PVC in the right place. This is a kind of all over fabric, but I've got a couple of things that I can just line up, a couple of feathers there that I can line up along the top to make sure that I'm positioning it in the correct place. So we now need to take off our backing paper and what I'm going to do with this one is I'm actually going to peel it all away. Because this is quite a small table lamp, we don't need to worry um, about doing it bit by bit. And this makes it quite easy then, as I mentioned before, to line up where you want it. So literally position that on and just, you can use your forearm or your fist and just literally you're going to start pushing that down. There we go, I'm happy with that. I just want to make sure my fabric's flat. Before we go any further, I'd just like to flip it over and make sure that there's no kind of frays of fabric got stuck under there. That's beautiful and smooth, so I'm really happy with that. So the next stage is to cut out our fabric. Now you can either use fabric scissors or as I mentioned before, you can use a craft knife. It's entirely up to you. I feel more comfortable with scissors. And for both, you just need to be cutting the fabric and cutting it as close as possible to the edge of the PVC. There we go, so that's all cut out for us. So the next stage is to remove the kiss cuts. So we need to simply push back the kiss cut and you'll hear it crack open. Now this is a very fine fabric, so it should go straight away, but if not, you can always run your hand back along it there. And what we need to do very gently is just push one side down and lift one side up and then start to peel away. And we don't want to pull it off too quickly because we don't want our fabric to fray too much. Just gonna turn that round and do exactly the same again. So fold back the kiss cut and you'll hear it cracking open. And then just lift that up gently and just peel that away. Lovely. And just before we finish on our PVC panel, we just need to take our double-sided tape and I'm just going to square off the edge on there and we're just going to stick this down one of the shorter sides. So it needs to be on the PVC and just needs to be as near as possible as we can get to the edge. And we're going to remove the backing tape from this one straight away. So when you're lifting the backing tape up, just make sure you don't lift up the tape as well. It should be well adhered down, but just in case. So we've finished our panel already, so you can see how easily it all comes together. And we're now going to move on to the rings. Starting with the plain ring first, we're going to go back to our double-sided tape. We're going to stick that on so that the ring sits in the middle of the two edges of the tape. There we go. So just keep moving round until you get to the two ends meet. And I just tend to snip just a little bit away, just so they don't overlap, because it does make it quite tricky to unravel them. And then this bit's quite important. So what we need to do is just take our fingers and our thumbs and push the tape down 
and that's basically pushing the tape around the ring, making sure there's as much of the tape on the ring as possible. So that's one ring done. And then on the second ring, we're going to do exactly the same. There we go, we're nearly there now. And when the two meet together, just snipping that off. Exactly the same again, fingers and thumbs moving that round. So we're ready to now move on to the next stage. I'm just going to remove the backing tape from the rings. And just stand that one on the table. So I'm just going to turn that to that side and then I can get ready to position my rings because once we've taken the tape off this ring you can't really put it down. So it's uh, you need to make sure that you're prepared in advance and just release that tape. Okay and now we're going to need to be ready to roll our rings. So you simply need to make sure that you've got your fabric the right way round this is going to be my base and this is going to be my top and you just position the ring onto the PVC so we're not putting it on the fabric we're putting it on the PVC and it just needs to be as near to the edge as you can get it I usually leave a little margin of around about a millimeter just so you get a nice crisp edge and then on this one you need to be particularly careful that you don't put a leg there because you don't want that landing on the seam and you'll understand why when we get to the next stage so we need to just put it in the center between two legs and that would sit on our seam there and then we just need to simply start rolling so you need to take your time with this and as you can see I can already let go of this one because it's so well adhered and you just simply start to move those forward Okay, and one might need a little bit more attention than the other and if you do go off you just pull it back so it's really simple so keep just come off a little bit here roll in and you will need to kind of manipulate the rings as you're going along but it's fairly forgiving if you do make a mistake so great and then when we get to this point where the flap is around about five to ten centimeters away you can then pull the flap up so it's just making sure that the edges here at the top meet really flushly and that does that's really meted really nicely there okay and then we just push those down together and I usually just give them a pinch on the inside there now you'll see that this is a little loose at the moment don't worry about that we don't want to start pressing it with our hand because we'll damage uh, the PVC so we just limp, simply put it on its back and then just we can rub that down with our hand or alternatively as I mentioned before you can use your seam roller for this so that's going along there beautifully so just before we go any further now you can see that your table lamp is really starting to take some shape um, and we're not very far off finishing it at all but what we need to do next is just at the top here you'll have a fabric overlap where your seam has come together and what we need to do is we just need to cut away that square so I'm just going to pop it on the table and we just need to simply snip on the inside fabric and then just cut down to cut that square away so that's that one done and then just repeat on the other side so find your seam cut in and then just snip that away there we go and then what we're going to do here is we're just going to push down the fabric and then push it round with our fingers underneath the ring and that should already start sticking into place and what that gives us is a lovely crisp finish along the top edge and then we're going to do exactly the same on the other side but before we do we just need to snip some cuts into the fabric where our leg is so I'll just again turn it on its side to do that and you just need to pop your scissors 
underneath the leg in place and exactly the same again, cut in and then finally your third one. And now we can do the same again. And if some of the fabric's already started sticking down, this is quite a fine fabric, just lift it up and then you can position it properly where you want it to be. So just tucking those in and under around the legs. As you can see now, the fabric where we made the cut has gone in and around the leg. So just to turn back over onto this end, what we need to do now is take our rolled edge tool that we talked about before, and this is what we're going to use to take the fabric underneath the ring to give the professional finish you'd expect on a shop-bought lampshade. So I'm just going to turn it to the side and just show you how to do this. So you can use the serrated edge or the smooth edges or the corner. I personally like to use the corner. I like to start where the seam is, the fabric is nearest to the ring at the seam and just literally start pushing that under. And as you can hear, there's a little bit of a cracking sound and that's really good because what that means is, is that the ring is lifting up to take the fabric underneath, which is what we want. So now we need to repeat that on the bottom. So again, find where your seam is. And I'll just do the same again. Start to push the fabric underneath and take any loose frays with it. And then when you get to the legs, you just need to make sure that you get as much of that in as possible. There we go. So that's all tucking under really nicely. So this is our finished table lamp, which I think you'll agree looks brilliant, um, particularly very expensive in this fabric. So as you can see, you can make something really special um, for your home. There's two types of electrical fitting for this lamp, uh, which you buy separately. And this is either the UK fitting, which as you can see here, has the smaller circle or alternatively there is a euro fitting which comes also with a euro plug and as you can see has the wider circle for it. So those are both available to buy separately. So with the skirt already removed from this we're going to put the electrical fitting into the utility ring. We've already got the UK fitting in place which fits this particular adapter so we just pop that in and then with your other hand take the skirt and there we go, so that's all tight and in place. And then just as you would at home, bayonet bulb, you just pop that inside. There we go, and I'll just plug this in. There we go. And I think you'll agree that looks absolutely fantastic. So I hope we've inspired you today. Thank you for watching our demonstration and we hope you get creative with some of our really good kits.